This is a destination playground. We have people traveling just to come to Leo's Landing. Meredith and Adam Bajenski are the founders of Leo's Pride Foundation and Leo's Landing in Saluda Shoals Park, all in the name of their eight-year-old son, Leo. He was born with spinal muscular atrophy, SMA type 1, diagnosed when he was very young. When Leo was one, the Bajenskis went to Saluda Shoals Park and noticed there was a need for space for all children to play together. In 2019, the family opened up Leo's Landing. The hope was, what the design for the playground was that any child, any adult that comes here, any age, any ability would feel like this playground was designed specifically for their needs. And two years later, this coming August, Leo's Landing is expanding by two acres. We're not just adding like more fun stuff. Obviously it will be fun and the kids will think it's amazing, but we actually went back to our initial meetings that we had with our community and our design sessions that focused on the needs of our community. The new expansion will include a low energy space for individuals to decompress and encourage connection and building relationships. The park will also add a new area that brings thrill with the zipline course that has a recumbent and disc seats for diverse skills and bodies. And a third area which challenges all ages and abilities with different equipment that encourages imagination and exploration. Mark Smyers is a director of Irmo Shape and Recreation Commission. He says Leo's Landing in the upcoming expansion will meet the organization's goal to meet people where they are. This message of inclusion and creating a play space to, to meet people wherever they are, not just so that you can get from A to B, but uh, the ability to provide an equal experience, um, I think is a right now conversation. And I think it's a way that our community can can reflect and resemble more of what's really out there. Groundbreaking for the expansion will take place on August 12th. The Bajenskis hope to have the grand opening by early next year. Reporting at Taiwan News 19 WLTX.